Hey everybody, this is Pam with the Paper Outpost. Today I'm going to be presenting to you my new fabric swatch slash uh, pieces packages for sale. Um, so these packages are going to contain different little pieces of fabric and trim and linens and laces and doilies and material and upholstery material and very interesting uh, different textures, a whole uh, plethora of fun pieces that you can grab and go in your to use in your junk journals. Now, um, uh, I want to show you just examples of ways you can use fabric. I've already shown these in videos, but I'm just going to give you a quick refresher. I did a wraparound piece of lace here as a front pocket and a back pocket. And um, this is actually a piece of material on this pocket here. And this is a piece of material here. Just quickly showing you ways that you can incorporate fabric, different types of fabric, different textures. This is a belly band. This is a page tab of fabric. And we did make all these together. This is a fabric flip up with a pretty poem underneath. Fabric bow, fabric uh, ribbon on top. Here's a, a little removable uh, page marker, which has fabric on both sides. Um, and another page tab, and I think the rest of it is just the page tab. So I will be making more things with fabric just to give you ideas. This is only the beginning of what you can do with fabric. Here's an inside pocket. Here's a little upper page trim with pocket. There's so much fun with fabric. So with that being said, let's show you the kit. Okay, so this is what you will be getting. This is what it looks like. And um, there's a... the. I would say these kits are very similar in nature. There may be some differences here and there based on, um, you know, how much I have of one piece of material, but they follow the same theme. So you're going to see a lot of the same pieces in each um, of these particular sets. And I, I made uh, just about 50 of these. So I did add a, um, this is a milk topper, uh, a vintage milk topper into every set. So everybody gets a unique one of those. Uh, I did cut apart a wedding dress. I know there was, that that was you know an interesting experience um it wasn't my wedding dress but there's a uh, there are a lot of beautiful appliques that are in the wedding dresses that can be used on covers on spines um in many unique ways so i thought that was a neat piece to put in there so i'm just going to sort of talk as we look through an example of what one of these kits looks like look like so there's small trim pieces there's bigger pieces i would say they range from, um, you know, like a little piece of lace like this to um, maybe eight by six, eight by eight. Um, uh, yeah, so I would say that there are pieces in that size. And the reason I did that is because um, uh, well, I found that my story was when I was working with fabrics originally, um, I loved, loved fabrics. I fell in love with them. It's so thin, they're so easy to use in junk journals. Um, uh, but it was cumbersome to go and get them. They were stored far away in storage, um, you know, in a storage room or, or, or something on a bolt, folded up, piled on top of one another, hard to get at if I only needed one little piece. So I started making these little packages again for myself, not unlike I did with the fundals, of little p collections of pieces together that I could just grab and go. So I made these um, Ziploc bags full of little interesting pieces of lace and whatnot, and just something that would be ready to grab. So I decided maybe I'm not the only one who might find that um, valuable or um, easy. So I did. I spent um, many, many hours <laughs> cutting up uh, my fabric collection and um, I have only started I still have a lot of it, fabric collection so if you guys like these I will make more but I'm just gonna see how these go if um, they sell well then I will go ahead and cut up some more and I'll put them up for sale um, but I've got I've got such a beautiful these things need to come out in the sunlight and, and be enjoyed by others so others can make pretties with them no more this is the year of not holding on to my pretties so there you go I'm letting my pretties fly <laughs> Okay, so lots of different pieces. You're going to see, again, linens, laces, um, curtains, tablecloths, uh, bedding, clothing, um, just gorgeous bolts of fabric that I found along the way, um, napkins, go and oh, I know, I know, there's going to be cringers out there. You cut up all this? Yes, yes, I did, because uh, I see a grander purpose for it, because I just think that it has so many possibilities, and um, 
Um, yeah, I'm going to show you more ways that you can use these in uh, junk journals, and it really is so much fun. I had a question about, um, well, what if my journal gets too thick? And I totally get that. Well, if you're going to uh, work with fabrics, you may want to put in a few ex fewer pages or um, uh, fewer signatures. And that way, when you add your extra bulk, it doesn't overbulk. Now, there's nothing wrong with a good overbulk. I'm a classic overbulker, and I love that style. That's just my personal style. You don't have to do that style. Do your own style. Um, but you can always, um, and a lot of these are very thin. You'd be surprised. Some of this, it, it's so thin, it doesn't take up that much room. If it's thicker, maybe you want to think about it for a cover or a spine cover. This would be really neat wrapped around a spine. I mean, kind of think outside the box. How else could I use this? If it's beautiful, and it brings you joy, think about how you can incorporate it into a junk journal. Um, you don't have to know how to sew. That's another great thing about um, fabrics. You can use the almighty Fabrifix glue, which is the clear silicone glue, which glues fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to paper. Um, so you don't have to sew. I love that, that you don't have to sew. And um, it, it makes things quick and easy for you. There's some quilting pieces in some of the collections as well. Um, so whatever I found that I thought was interesting, I love thin muslin, um, like just paper thin muslin. I'm addicted to it. It's just like, ah, uh, it's like almost like a thin, super thin, really comfy cotton feel. Love, love that. Easy to tear, some beautiful upholstery fabrics in all different thicknesses. Um, serving many, many purposes. Uh, so I hope this gives you a nice um, example of what is in here. I would say there's probably 40-ish plus pieces. It was a little hard to, I, I know I think I counted to 40 and then I just kept going and lost count. So I don't know, there's gonna be more than that, but um, that's where I kind of lost count because I had to make it fit into the envelope. So, um, and I would say they're probably 98% unique pieces in here. I tried to give you as much variety as possible so that you had an opportunity to play with a lot of different things. There might be even a little piece of um, so like sari ribbons and things like that. These are very beautiful. Um, some, some netting. Yeah, I mean, you just never know. You just never know what you're gonna find in a fabric pack. Um, so lots of pretty laces, lots of laces. Lots of neutrals, um, a couple, uh, you know, some color here and there, some pretty cool um, uh, upholstery fabric again, and uh, so and a few specialty items, just fun things I find along the way. You never, you just never know what you come across, and um, it's a beautiful thing to add to a journal. If you've if you've shied away from the fabric, I say open open your mind to the possibilities of what you can do with fabric. Um, now, if you uh, um, you, you can easily source fabric in your own world um, from your own closet, your friend's closet, your cousin's closet, your brother, your sister, all your neighbors and friends. You can go down to the thrift store. You can go down to the fabric store. Um, you can order it online. You can do all sorts of things. Um, and uh, you're going to have a great supply. Uh, and you can buy those quilting squares and things like that already pre-cut for you. That's a thing. But if you don't want to fuss with any of that, I do have these um, available. I've been collecting these for years, honestly. So um, there's a good variety in here. Um, a lot of different things to play with. Some of these uh, even have been gifted to me. I think this beautiful piece was gifted to me. So thank you so much. Um, look how beautiful that is with the, the butterflies. Oh, I love that piece. That's so gorgeous. And more lace. And now we finish off with a piece of upholstery fabric and also included. So that's what you're going to get inside um, the fabric pack. And along with that, you're going to get uh, a bonus, a little bonus gift of a uh, letter and a, car, a postcard and a little something with that. So that will come in addition too. So I hope you like that. I hope you like the ideas and the different ways that we are making um, things with the fabric and uh, we'll be incorporating more of those ideas as we go. So take care everybody. Have lots of fun. Um, this is just a short quick video today to introduce the fabric packs. Uh, they are for sale in my Etsy shop right now. If you don't, uh, all the links are down below in the um, video drop down description box. But if you don't know where to find that, you can just go to www.thepaperoutpost.com and that will take you to my main 
Etsy page where you only see my stuff. You don't have to worry about getting confused of accidentally buying somebody else's stuff. It sometimes happens on Etsy because um, Etsy is like a Google. It will show you if you Google something, it'll show you the thing you're looking for and then all of a sudden it'll present other things. That's the way Etsy works as well. So that's the way we also get to introduce new um, uh, Etsy sellers to people. So, uh, Sunbun, do you have anything to say to the world? Hold on. All right, Sunbun, you can deliver your your speech of the day. Hello, everybody. Um, I would like to say that our, our home was turned into fabric camp. Yes, there was fabric everywhere, all the time, and Mom kept cutting and cutting and cutting, and I didn't think she was ever going to be done, but then finally, she was done. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much what happened, right? Yep. You didn't see Mom for a while. She was just like, like a cutting, you know, crazy woman over there in the kitchen, right? Yep, that was it. Okay. Happy crafting, everybody. Have lots of fun and happy day. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sunshine. So, um, for those of you who have been around, thank you for hanging out here at the Paper Outpost. Um, it's so fun to know how many people across the world l connect over paper. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's a beautiful community. Um, if you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Uh, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month. Um, it comes on one sheet. You print it out at home. It has multiple sizes to make it easy for you. You can use it in different ways. And um, I also have it in, um, I think it's in PDF and JPEG format. And also uh, I give you um, tips and tricks on making junk journals. Updates from the Paper Outpost, a note from the bookmaker which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. You can print that out and change the wording or the text or the font, make it your own. It comes in two different formats as well. Um, also a junk lit journal list uh, supplies on page list of ideas and um, you take one idea and you can use it four different ways in your junk journal so you're easy, it's very easy to decorate a junk journal. Um, I also have a video series that goes along with that. It's called Never Endless Book Page Ideas page ideas, yes. And also, um, um, I have uh, podcasts. I know, I know, I have podcasts. We talk about junk journals, life of a crafter, answering crafty questions, paper crafting. Um, the new audio material comes out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but all, there's all sorts of video podcasts that you can watch as well, any day of the week, which are available on Spotify to watch. And I have an Etsy shop if you're looking for um, printable images. I have things called digi kits, which come in um, different themes like birds and Victorian and dragonflies and celestial and and uh, all sorts of fun ideas. I think there's over 195 themes right now and you can print those out. There's five pages each and uh, you get all sorts of different beautiful images to easily use right inside your junk journals anytime you like. And um, if you don't like printing, I offer a print and mail service. I will print and uh, mail to you 10 digi kits. That's 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock that comes to you. The only thing I need from you is the list of the 10 digi kit names. I only need the first two to three words and you can send that to me through Etsy message or to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com. And um, that includes free priority shipping. I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. So if you like, uh, you, you know, you're kind of interested in the old stuff and you want to see and feel and touch it, I also mail those out hard copy to you. They're the real pieces and they um, are 100 plus. It also includes um, free priority shipping to you and uh, that will be en route to you if you like to um, dabble in that world. Uh, I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, uh, I do put, try and put links to everything I can find in there for you. That does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items. And thank you for everybody who has purchased through my Amazon shop and my Etsy shop. Thanks. And I also have a t-shirt shop. So if you're looking for um, a special gift for a friend or a family member or a crafter, if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, <laughs> um, I think I almost came up with a new one there. Uh, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And if you're a uh, uh, social media person. Um, you can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. I have a Facebook group called the Paper Outpost Facebook group where we do weekly and monthly challenges. You're welcome to come on over and jump and join in or you're welcome just to lurk and hang out and watch and learn. And people also post what they make from these videos. So uh, most of all, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody. And we'll just keep going here in 2023 together having fun. Take care. Bye-bye.